So hi guys in today's video we are going to be taking a look at how to make your Redmi Note 3 just look like a Google Pixel I mean everything the animations the theme everything not just like a Google Assistant and a Pixel Launcher So the requirements over here are a drop recovery and a unlock bootloader that's uh, necessary and if you have that installed then just boot either a drop recovery So once that done please hold on the volume up and power button till it shows as you can see it only shows Google over here rather than MI because of all all of the uh, UI has been changed due to this uh, mod. Just download the uh, ROM in the uh, link in the description, which is called Lineage OS. And yes, this is a full fixed one, like the Volte and everything is working. The fingerprint partially works, but still, uh, it's a good thing. And many other features have been added over there. Just uh, go to the mount, enable system catch, firmware process, everything. Uh, go to wipe, advanced wipe, dynamic cache system data, add catch, no need of internal storage or micro SD card. Just do that. After uh, doing that, now I have a Lineage OS on my USB OTG, so I will just connect that. Now I'll go to the mount, USB OTG, go to the install. Here I have my ROM, add more zips. Now for GApps, I will only suggest you to go from full to micro or pico. Uh, that's upon you because uh, some about that, like stock or super, will give you some errors like Google Play services and you will not be able to use your Play Store. Just select that, add more zips. Now add the actual mod, the pixelized UI, just before installing the ROM. Don't uh, use it after installing it. Other Otherwise, you will face like face some crashes like the Google keyboard and everything. Let the ROM install for some minutes. So here, after a couple of minutes, the ROM has been installed. As you can see, everything has been installed over here. Just remove the system. As you can see, Google, the ROM has been successfully installed. I'm kind of skeptical whether I can get my My logo over here by flashing the stable ROM. But Google also looks cool. There you go. The ROM is now booting. So there it is, after some couple of minutes the ROM has been finally booted up and there is your Google Pixel setup screen. So there are now some bugs, as you can see the music has been stopped, <laughs> that just happens. I have no SIM card over here, skip. Voldy is working in this ROM, so that's a great thing, let me just type my name. And as you can see this is not an ordinary stock Android keyboard, this is a Gboard where you can touch things directly from your keyboard which is a good thing. Let's just try whether we can add a fingerprint or not. Okay, I guess we can add it but I am not sure, I am adding right now all of my fingers cause if I use my ordinary finger it works I guess kinda like, okay, okay it's working, pretty good. Let's just hit the next, all set and there is your <laughs> Pixel XL, it's pretty weird I have never seen this like the google app is over here and also uh, the voice search is also present over here it's not even in the stock pixel excel so that's a weird thing okay so as you can see here is our home screen everything is working just fine this is a live wallpaper from the pixel there is your launcher all of the icons seem to be circle only the settings one is remaining that may be a bug as you can see you do get a pixel like settings over here everything has been turned to the blue but if you go to display and go to display size just turn that here i think uh, down a bit and you will truly get a pixel excel like feel everything has been scaled down and also this pixel launcher looks much beautiful like this as you can see all of the settings are present over here go to the about phone 7.1.1 redmi note 3 and lineage os 14.1 everything is here also the uh, vr mode has been added over here pretty nice touch you can just reduce the blur or the flicker if you go to the battery you also have some performance optimization over here as you can see memory is just, it's 50 50 this is a 2 gig version of redmi note 3 and 800 megs is available only 54 percent is used and that's pretty Pretty much okay because I have shit ton of apps over here as you can see AES Explorer is also here. So if you go actually to the nav bar, this is not just a theme, this is the actual one from the pixel. If I tap it over here, as you can see there is a bit of animation over there. Here is the Google Assistant without even changing your device name from Redmi Note 3 to the Pixel XL. Very nice thing. Yes, I'm in. And if you have never used your Redmi Note 3 with a nav bar, just do it without using a hardware case. It's a very nice feeling. Yeah, and cause so this is a 10,000 rupee device and this phone is actually much powerful than the Nexus 6P so you are getting very good experience at the 10,000 rupee price tag okay Google okay Google okay Google okay Google there it is my Google assistant now the weird thing about a Google assistant is you can just converse it with it who is Eminem where does he live as you saw over there I didn't take his name where he lived According but celebritydetective.com Marshall Bruce Mathers III, now known the world over as Eminem, was born on October 17th, 1970. But as you saw over there, I didn't take his name. I just searched for where does he live and uh, it gave me. So you can actually converse it with it, which is very awesome thing. So I guess the voice search was only for some regions. As I signed it to my Google account, it set it for India. And now it's just a Google bar, as we know. And as you can see, it's not only a, a date as in other ROMs, it's a Pixel 1. 
you get the you get the weather information and the date over here if you go to the wallpapers you get the live earth over here and these are not only a live wallpaper these are really very cool graphics actually this is not a photo these are actual models if you saw closely you have to experience that by yourself through installing this rom you you also have this one very nice you also get the live preview of the earth okay there it is india looks very real you also have the horizon very beautiful rom very beautiful wallpapers this one is my favorite one because you have like a line slide effect over here you get the apps from the pixel the messenger gmail everything and the fun part is you also get the google camera app from the pixel excel which is very hard to port but the developers have done a very nice job and it just works flawless here you get the panorama photosphere lens blur if you go to the settings you have the 16 mega megapixel option over here i prefer that well you have the front camera also the 4k is enabled let's just check it out with the 4k is working with the stock camera it would be just awesome to go to the video you have to just slide it from the right let's try whether the 4k is working or not so you do need a mx player for that but let's just check on the file okay so it is in fact 4k and it was very smooth actually in order to record so it's a very awesome touch really great work by the developer there is me just messed up but if you go to the menu you do get all of the apps from the pixel you also get the stock lineage os like the audio effects you do get the add away file explorer is also over here you get the dock also the recent apps has been a bit of a revamp from the pixel they are much more wider compared to the previous one also over here you do get the new notification panel and the colors are from pixel as you can see it's a gray on blue not like a black on green here are your notification here you can expand it just like that very nice touch you can readjust it from over here okay the fingerprint scanner is in fact working also it has turned itself into the night shift mod so guys thanks for watching this was a video on how to make your redmi note 3 a perfect google pixel excel hope you guys enjoyed and if you want more redmi note 3 videos please hit that subscribe button and peace